The Morning Mess. All right, it's The Morning Mess. It's time for another one. It's time for a staycation setup. So Laura thinks her boyfriend, Clay, might be cheating after seeing his pictures of him at a restaurant. So, Laura, I'm assuming that the pictures were with your boyfriend and another girl, or? Yes, exactly. Okay. So I work in marketing. I work for a marketing agency, and part of my job is helping new restaurants get all of their uh, online marketing presence together. And while I was at work, I was reviewing some pictures of the restaurant. And I was looking at pictures of the patio, and I swear that I could see Clayton sitting at a table holding hands with another woman. Mm. Okay, you're saying you swear you could see. Was it a blurry picture? Well, I mean, it was taken from a little bit further away, but the thing is, is that he has these shoes that he always wears, these Cole Haan shoes. And those shoes have a bright orange sole. And so when you're looking at the picture, you can very, very clearly see these bright orange sole shoes. Oh, wow. so hard. Very specific. They're called what? Cole Haan? Cole Haan, yeah. Okay. I thought it was Han this whole time. Is it? I I never heard of it. Never heard of it. I I am also not trendy. No, they're like business shoes. Okay. Okay. You see these pictures. Are you confronting your man about this? Because it sounds like you're really convinced at this point that... It's, it's him. him. You know, I asked him casually if he'd ever been to the restaurant, and he said that he did, but didn't elaborate any more than that. So he didn't get caught up in the lie. He's never been to the restaurant. So he admits he's there. So they could have been taken while he was there. But you saw him holding hands with somebody. Holding hands. And you didn't ask about that part? I didn't feel like that was the right moment to, you know, address the issue. I was hoping that he would come forward himself. He wants to catch him live on the radio. That's what the hell she wants. I mean, I, I just feel like he could have been saying grace. Like, he didn't lie to you. They could have just grace. been. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, when you hold yeah. hands like that or something. I don't know. Right. But at least he didn't lie about being there. They didn't look like a saying grace kind of handhold, in my opinion. Right. She was holding yeah. breadsticks. I'm not oh, talking about the ones oh, on the table oh, either. Wow. Okay. All right. We're going to do the staycation setup, Miss Laura. What we're going to do is call Clayton up, offer him a free romantic hotel stay, and then ask him who he wants to put on that reservation. At that point, we'll know if he's cheating on you or not, okay? All right. Are you ready to call it off if he is? or? Absolutely. I don't have time for this kind of behavior. We've been together long enough that this is a deal breaker for me. Absolutely. Like a girl with a firm, you know what I mean? Yeah, she was ready to she was reprimanding everybody. She knew that question. Okay, so uh, Miss Laura, hold on right there. We're going to get his number from you and see if we can catch him up in, in a lie, okay? All right, let's do this. All right, we got you. Staycase setup. It's all up next with The Morning Mess. Hey, you, it's The Morning Mess inside of the staycation setup. We caught up with Laura, and she let us know she thinks her man Clayton is cheating. We saw a picture of him at a restaurant in the background. She knows it's her man. But Miss Laura, he's holding hands with another woman. With another woman. So you do marketing, you said, right? I do marketing. I help new and upcoming restaurants launch their online presence and get people in the door. Right. It looks like your man was launching his his pelvic area oh to somewhere else. Like, whoa! No. No. Okay. But you know what, Carla, you had a good point. Now, holding hands with this girl in the background, he admitted that he was at that restaurant, but Carla came up with a very specific thing that I didn't even think about. Yeah, I kind of figured, what if they were saying grace and they were holding hands that way? I mean, he could just be a good guy, so I don't want to judge him too hard before we start. Is your man religious at all, Laura? Not that he's ever shown me. So he's cheating. <laughs> you know what? Let's catch him up. We are going to call him up off from a free romantic hotel stay and see who he wants to put on that reservation. Okay, Laura? All right. Here we go. Let's right. do Ooh, it. Ready. Okay. On your All mark. Right. You tell us, girl. Yes, sir. Okay. Go! <laughs> yeah! Hello? Hello. Am I speaking with Clayton? Uh, Who's this? Clayton, well, my name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the Aurora Hotel. I'm hoping I'm in touch with the right person because I wanted to congratulate you. You have won the free romantic weekend stay here. We're going to put you up in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package. Just wanted to set you up, get some details done for your reservation. I didn't sign up for anything, man. I don't know what this is about. I want to assure you about a couple of things. So first, you are the winner. We've partnered up with Google and Yelp. So in exchange for that partnership, we are hoping to get some reviews from you on those websites. So you come stay with us, enjoy with no deposits, fees, or taxes, and then just write your review afterwards. I mean, I've got, I'm pretty booked up. I mean, if we can do it at the end of the month, and as long as I don't have to give you my credit card info or anything, Mm -hmm. then... Yeah, that works for me. I mean, we can go over the specifics. I just need to get a few questions answered. So 
Let's go ahead and get started so we can get to that scheduling. Sound good? Okay. Perfect. Clayton, so with this free romantic weekend stay, one of the cool things is we start off with a personalized note. So this goes to your guest of honor. They get it upon entry. And you have this option to make it personalized just to um, you know, set the mood for the weekend. I can let you write whatever you'd like on that note. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Um, but love you, babe. Okay. I have that down there. So my next question is, who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest of honor's full name for us to continue. Uh, Pamela. Whoa, what? Wait, what is going on? Hey, Clayton. Legally, we got to let you know you're actually live on the radio. We're the morning mess and your girl Laura's on the radio. I saw pictures of you with your you are holding her hands at the Windsor. Who is she? What are you talking about? What is happening right now? What? Well, your girl called us up. She thought you're cheating. We're a radio show. You're live right now. So tell us who Pamela is, or at least your lady. I don't know what you're f- talking about, dude. Stop stalling and tell me what the f- is going on here. How am I supposed to tell you? You're just yelling at me. Like, what am I? Actually, I she's being pretty wrong. calm and just waiting for your answer. So are you going to say where you met this other chick? How She's long? yelling at me. I don't know what you're you talking about. You know what? About. Me yelling it's is perfect. the least of your worries if you don't start talking to me right now. Okay, look. Pamela's a woman, as you can tell. <laughs> you be more vague. There's nothing to freak out about. I don't, even, I don't know why you had to put me on the radio. On you blast. said that you love her. You wanted me to write in the note, love you, babe. She's a friend. Look, a romantic like, weekend getaway friend. I can't hang out with women now. Like, Jeez. it's National oh, Women's Month. I'm not allowed to hang out with women. God. Am I supposed to discriminate against her because she's a yes. woman? Yes, yes. You are so lucky wow. that this is happening over the phone right now because I could punch you so hard. Are you kidding me? Do it. You said you love no, her. No, we dare you. You went to dinner with right. her. She's a woman. I'm not allowed to go out with her. Like, that's sexist of you, to be honest. That's what? Yeah. No way. What? We're done. This is over. Hang up on him right now. I don't want to talk with to Clayton, him. Clayton, are you there, Clayton? Yeah. I'm I just want to make sure so I can hang up on you. Hold on. Wow. Oh, my God. He called you an wow. anti-feminist because you didn't support his side chick. Wow. I don't need this. No, you don't. That is absolutely right. I don't think anybody needs that. That's crazy. So obviously he's rocking with this girl, Pamela. Who is this girl? Do you know who she is? I have no idea who this is, but she can have him. One thing I know, she likes PDA. She up here holding hands as a side chick. When you're a side chick, you can't hold that man's hand in public. You well, can't do that. And wouldn't you know if there's a camera there? Like how dumb? They had to know that people were taking pictures. Uh, you know what? I'm at this point, I'm happy this happened because now I can move on without him. I don't need him. And you know it's National Women's Month, so maybe you move on to a lesbian. Maybe you do some, you oh know. Oh, my God. Oh my what God. does that have to do with anything? How, how feminist you can be. Yeah. Sometimes you got to finagle that bagel. What? You know what? I'm open to anything at this point. There you yeah. go. And I'm sure there's a girl right now open. Why'd you look at Carla when you said that, Joey? <laughs> yeah, what was wrong with that? Are you, you interested to set her up? Or? You know, maybe. You know, she has a great job. <laughs> she- there you go. What? Did this just turn into, like, a dating app? I won't turn it down. Hey, oh. turn down for what? Oh, Laura. <laughs> Let me put you on hold. Oh my gosh. I'll hold your hand. Good morning, man. Stop by.